Bodies of water are very mysterious, and you never know what can be inside. With this mystery come strange sightings of so-called lake monsters. These are creatures that thrive in water, ranging from salt water to fresh water. Many of these creatures have very similar appearances, very long necks with large bodies. Their appearance resembles a plesiosaur, a carnivorous marine reptile that existed millions of years ago. Today we will dive into three of the most known lake monsters, and maybe piece something together. Starting off the list with the most popular lake monster, and one of the most popular cryptids, the Loch Ness Monster. Cryptozoologists claim that this creature was sighted as early as 564 AD, when a man encountered a sea serpent in the River Ness. This unidentified creature inhabits a lake in Scotland called Loch Ness, which is where its name came from, Loch Ness Monster. From what we know this is a large creature with a seal-shaped head and a very long neck. It was not until 1933 that this creature became the legend it is today. This was after a couple saw a large prehistoric monster cross their car's path and disappear into the water. This event made the Scottish news and led to a big game hunter being hired to locate the sea serpent, but he was unsuccessful. In 1934 the iconic photograph of the Loch Ness monster was taken, but many years later it was discovered to be a hoax. In 1954, a fishing boat using sonar readings noticed a large object keeping up with the boat's speed. The object that was detected was about 400 feet underwater. Many wonder if it was the Loch Ness Monster. After the legendary photo of the Loch Ness Monster surged this creature in popularity, a woman accounted her experience in 1872. She claimed to see a log or an upturned boat moving slowly around the water before taking off in great speed. To this day people are still reporting sightings of the Loch Ness Monster. The most popular lake monster remains a mystery. But if these constant alleged sightings are true, one day the mystery behind the Loch Ness Monster will end. Moving on to our second lake monster, there is a story of a creature in Canada that lurks in Lake Okanagan. With an appearance similar to the Loch Ness Monster, this long serpentine-like creature is closely tied to native myths. It was not until 1872 that the first non-native account of the creature that goes by the name of Ogopogo was sighted. A woman by the name of Susan Allison was a non-native living in Similkameen Valley, where she claimed to have seen Ogopogo. The next sighting came in 1968, when a man by the name of Art Folden noticed something strange moving in the lake. He began to film this and described it as something large and lifelike that he suspected to be Ogopogo. In 2005, an investigation was launched on the video and concluded it was a real animal, but its size was overestimated, although this still remains a mystery. Twelve years after this incident, a million-dollar cash reward was being offered for anybody who can prove this creature's existence. That same year, 50 tourists watched a creature they thought was Ogopogo for 45 minutes. A picture was taken, but many believe it is a pair of otters. In 1998, a man by the name of John Kirk claimed he saw an animal about 35 to 40 feet long, with five humps and a lashing tail, traveling at about 25 miles per hour. In August of 2008, a local photographer and his girlfriend were sitting by the lake shore and his girlfriend noticed a disturbance in the water. The photographer managed to get a quick picture before his camera died. He never released the pictures to the public but described the creature as having black humps. Eight days after this occurrence, his girlfriend spotted another disturbance in the water. He took about 11 photographs of the mysterious creature. The images shown to the public were investigated and shown to have not been tampered with. This creature definitely has many sightings to back up its existence. But until concrete evidence is shown, we will never be certain of Ogopogo's existence. Moving on to our third and last lake monster, there is a creature in southeastern Australia that is said to lurk in swamps and rivers. It is described as an amphibious creature that is mostly aquatic. This creature goes by the name of Bunyip. And if you piece the appearance of this creature based on what the witnesses described, 60% of them say the creature resembles a seal or a swimming dog. 20% say a creature with a long neck and a small head. This seal-like creature is said to be about 4 to 6 feet long with a shaggy black or brown coat a head like a bulldog and whiskers like an otter. The other variety others claim to see is about 5 to 15 feet long, with a horse-like head and an elongated mane neck. 
The natives described the bunyip as nocturnal with a loud roaring call. The origins of the bunyip is largely debated. One explanation is that seals made their way up to the rivers. Another suggestion is that the bunyip is a cultural memory of an extinct species in Australia. In 2017, a man by the name of Carl Brand claimed that the natives' encounter with the southern cassowary was the inspiration between the bunyip. In 1845, the word bunyip was first used in a newspaper describing a fossil in which a native replied saying the fossil belonged to a bunyip. In 1846, an unknown skull which the natives said was a bunyip's was put on display for two days in an Australian museum. In 1852, an escaped convict by the name of William Buckley wrote in his biography that in Lake Modwar there is an amphibious animal which the natives call a bunyip. He stated he could only see the back which was covered with dusky gray feathers, and it seemed to be the size of a full-grown calf. The last reported sighting was in 1857 where a man by the name of Edwin Stockler said that the bunyip is a large freshwater seal with a long swan-like neck. He drew a sketch of the creature. When he showed it to the Gulban tribe they declared that it was the bunyip's brother. This creature is definitely the most mysterious of the three with the last sighting being 1857. Who knows when somebody will claim they have seen this creature. These three lake monsters have all been allegedly seen. There is always a chance that there are unbelievable animals lurking in places undiscovered.